Warning, the following Let's Play contains spoilers for Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, Danganronpa 2, Danganronpa V3, Danganronpa 3 The Anime, and Danganronpa Another Episode, Ultra Despair Girls. Viewer discretion is advised. Just a quick note guys, I accidentally messed up the video and audio settings in this recording. Uh, so for this episode, the video picture is going to be in a smaller resolution and will be completely messed up. Um, as you'll soon sh soon see, and the audio is a bit too high, my voice gets muffled out quite a bit at times. Um, however, I did decide to just upload this instead of going and re-recording it, because otherwise my reactions would be illegitimate, and I really didn't want to play through the entire prologue again, because <laughs> that shit was long. Um, so yeah, I decided to post this entire prologue as one episode because of the technical difficulties. Uh, after that, for the most part, I'm thinking of making each episode around an hour and a half long, give or take, uh, with the exception of the class trials and possibly the investigations themselves. Uh, so thank you for your understanding and enjoy the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Breezy here, and today I'm starting a let's play, a blind let's play of Dingopa V3, Killing Harmony, as you can see on the screen. Um, I want to just specify again, this is blind. I do, however, know little bits of it. Um, well, actually, even before I get into that, uh, spoiler warning for Danganronpa 1, 2, possibly a bit of Despair Girls. I don't know, I haven't played that one yet. I bought it literally just yesterday. Um, but 1, 2, maybe a bit of Despair Girls, and obviously no shit, V3. Um, or I guess pretty much, pretty much spoilers for the entire series, minus manga, light novels, and uh, Despair Girls for the most part. But, uh, this is blind, I will be recording the entire series in full uh, before I post any part, uh, just to make- what the fuck did I just- oh, I just- wait, wait, what? What? Uh, I was not paying attention. Okay, well, we're at the menu now, so who the fuck cares? But, yeah, <coughs> sorry. I don't remember what I was gonna say now. Right. Um. No, I don't remember. Right, right, right. So yes, I will be doing the entire story and campaign before I post even a single part of this, mostly just so nobody goes into the comments and says like, oh, this character dies, or this character dies, or this character dies. Um, and I do know, I'm pretty sure I know one person who dies, and how they die, I don't know when they, or how they die as in, are they executed or are they murdered? Um, but I don't know when it happens, and I know for a fact one person, another person who dies, 100%. Um, once again, I don't know how they're executed, but I know that they're executed, and I don't know when it happens. Um, although I believe it's at the end of chapter one, although that's mostly just a hypothesis, and I really hope it's not true, because I actually like that character. Um, I'm not gonna say who those are, I'm just gonna prevent spoilers until they come up in the normal gameplay, um, but I will point them out once we get there if I'll mention like, oh yeah, this is the person I was talking about. Um, and yeah, so let's, uh, oh, right, that's the other thing. Um, no wait, I just said the other thing, never mind. So yeah, let's get on with, uh, watch your favorite characters die the video game. Uh, we're gonna be on normal and normal. I <laughs> like the freaking danger sound, it's kind of safe and sound. I like the aesthetic of this game, I was going for it, actually. Uh, but yes, I have played Danganronpa 1 and 2. Um, although Danganronpa 1 was completely spoiled to me by the anime, and I'm gonna shut up and watch this.
Okay, so I didn't want to say anything during the cutscene, but holy fuck, that was a really cool cutscene. I thought it was really cool how it incorporated the uh, second anime series into that too. Um, which I believe came out, it finished its run right before this came out in Japan. Um, or it may have still been in production uh, during its run in Japan. Um, I also apologize that my frame rate decided to have a stroke in the middle of the cutscene in a few parts there. I uh, saw so it go from, I guess they're limited to 30 FPS, because right afterwards I go to 60. Um, but I saw it go from 30 to like 21 frames, and it like froze at one point. So I apologize about that. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, but yeah, so, got nothing. No light, no sound. Someone sent me a Steam message. No form, no voice. No knowledge of who I am. Who am I? Or who I am, who am I? I extend a hand. A hand that belongs to no one. To height, to take hold of my existence. This is me. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. Alright, so that's how you pronounce it. It's not Kaede. I just remembered who I am. Just come to think of it was a meme nice as well. Nice to meet me. I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. Ultimate Revival. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. <laughs> I couldn't even brace for impact as that blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. <laughs> Ow. Ow! But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? Wait, where am I? What, what is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yeah, this is definitely gonna leave a bump. I looked around. Also, guys, a let me know. Classroom. Oh shit! Wait a minute, but I'm not gonna be posting this until it's over. Um. All right. Well, I guess I'm just gonna continue my storybook narration, uh, unless the characters themselves are speaking. But yeah. Oh, I? I accidentally skipped that. My what bad. What am I doing here? Oh, is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek. But all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end, I, I just couldn't. Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise, so someone in there as well. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly, op slowly opened, and... Ah, uh, yep, there he is. A boy came stumbling out. <laughs> a normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student, too. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head... He screamed as if he'd seen, just seen a monster. Wait. Oh! He screamed as if he'd just seen a monster, fell on his butt, and scooted back. I thought it said a monster fell on his butt. I was like, that's an oddly specific situation. Uh. Who are you? Are you with those other guys? Huh? What other guys? The people who kidnapped me. Um. Kidnapped? Wait! Where am I? What are you gonna do to me? Hey! Hey, hold on. I firmly gripped his shoulders. You know? What's your name? Huh? Huh? Oh, uh, he said that. Um... Oh, okay, he's not gonna say his name out loud. I'm Shuichi Sihara. I mispronounced yeah. that name. I already forgot how it's pronounced, so I'm Kade Akimatasu. <laughs> so not it. <laughs> now listen to me, Suichi. Shut up! You're the only one who's confused right- Oh, you're not the only one who's confused right now. Huh? 
Uh, sorry. After making him shut up, I retraced my steps again. That's right. I was kidnapped too. I was walking my usual route to school when all of a sudden someone shoved me into a car. I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. Everyone pretended like nothing happened. It made me think how rotten the world is. And then I lost consciousness. That's right. And when I woke up, I was inside that locker. Huh? Same with me. We're kidnapped by the same people? Uh, Seems like it. Jeez. But why me? My family's not rich, and I'm no one special. I'm just a normal high school girl. There's no reason to kidnap me. Uh, okay. Me either. I'm just a regular guy. And this is a school, right? Why did they take us to a school? Um. I wonder why. I don't know who this is supposed to be, so... Hey there, I'm sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Well, I can't... Okay, it is just a narrator. Or instructions. Well, I can't explain that. But I can give a basic explanation about the controls. <laughs> move your mouse to control the recital on screen. When you have targeting new sites, self-click to investigate. Hold down right-click to move the mouse and adjust your view. Press space bar to smack objects over... What? Okay, that's actually new. Can I smack people around? <laughs> Who knows, you might find something amazing. <laughs> you can always press the Q button to return objects to their original position, so relax, that's new as well. However, not every object can be moved. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> if you press the enter key, a mysterious investigative, inv investigative, fuck me, investigative power will activate. Sorry, I know this is a lot of information. Investigate the place thoroughly, that's how you progress through the story, you know? You should fully investigate this area first. Okay, um, so, smack. Hold on, first I want to see. Damn it, you can't smack people. <laughs> oh well. Uh, what did it say? Shift? No, right click. I already forgot. Off to a great start. 10 out of 10. Best detective. Alright, this is the first shit. We woke up inside of these lockers. But why would we be in these lockers in the first place? Monitor. Is this a monitor? Nothing's being displayed right now. Seriously though, what is it? It really seems out of place here. Yep, that's definitely a blackboard. The giant electronic green thing. That's a blackboard, right? Every classroom has one, but... This blackboard is also an LCD screen. That's something you don't see every day, indeed it is not. Uh... Ah, oh, it's a monitor, so... Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared me. Is that like a Mario walk? Getting money from this. Oh, I'm getting XP from this too, what the fuck? Is that actually from smacking things, or is that just... Aiming on it. Because it looks like I'm hitting something. Yeah, the side seems to be the spot. I say as I fuck up the Oh, wrong way. Oh, actually, once I'm done with the here. Okay, try smacking the windows. No, but I can investigate them. The windows... The outside of the window is covered in greenery and barbed wire. Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? Uh, the door, I'm guessing it's locked. Where am I? Oh. It doesn't matter, at least for me. Oh, okay, no, we can just leave. Hey, let's get out of here. Wait, let's get out of here as fast as we can. We can find some help from Cotton. Sorry. Okay. Y yeah, good idea. 
We ran as fast as we could to the classroom door and opened it with all our strength. But then... What the fuck? Hell yeah! Found you! What? <laughs> Just a what? A, a monster? <laughs> is this one of the Kuma kids? Th this is bad. Called? We need to get out of here. Okay. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, wait, no, I think I know who this is. Is this the inventor chick, me, or whatever? Got it over here. <laughs> We're gonna get so many shit comments for fucking up here. Oh, okay, we can move like this. Run. Can I still smack stuff? No. Gotta remember that shift is run as well. I'm not control. What? Oh, okay, no, it's a loading screen. I thought I fucked something up. Because I hit control right as that happened. Wait. Uh. Did I just come to I guess I just came to Do I run by it? Oh, I'm done. That one is an orange light, so yeah, this very easily could be dead for the kids. Don't go that way, over here. Um, this place is overgrown. There's a yellow one, so. Unless that was the Jeez, what are those things? Should have been in a more panic voice, actually, but whatever. Oh, no, no, Whoa, frame rate. Hello. How are you doing today, frame rate? I may have to adjust my video settings. As we frantically dove towards the door, we saw something we never expected to see. Uh, like the robots oh, were expected. More people have arrived. Huh? Did you all get chased by that monster too? Uh, oh, yeah. What are they? What do they want with us? Do you want me to check on what's happening? You can't! It's too dangerous out there! It's likely that monster still lurks nearby. Wait! I shouted at the top of my lungs. Who are you guys? And why am I here? And that makes 16. What? I'm talking about us. There are 16 of us, all high schoolers. What do you think that means? The tennis player reminds me of Fuyuhiko, the way he stands there. 16 high schoolers. Oh. Oh, right. I didn't answer your question. My name is Rantaro Omaki. Never mind. I'm sorry, but... Let's leave it at that. Wait, let's leave it at that for now. What? Uh, okay. You know... Why does it matter if there's... There are 16 of us. There must be more coming. No. Nah, I think this is all of us. If this is what I think it is, anyway. Oh, fuck, does he know? What? If this is what you think it is... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What is this grammar? What, you some kind of fucking know it all? Oh, okay, never mind. What, you some kind of fucking know it all? If you know something, spill it out. Spit it out. Can't read. Because at that moment, an unknown voice suddenly echoed throughout the gym. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I don't know who it is. No, 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 it's Simmer Down. Is what? this Monokuma slash Kuma Kids? Huh? Who's that? Where are they? Oh, fuck. Okay, yes, these are the Kuma Kids for sure. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with us! Yep, they made a bear joke. They're the Kuma Kids. <laughs> That's the take everyone. Are you serious? Damn it, there are more monsters. We're surrounded. Ah! These aren't monsters, they're exi- ex- ex- that word. And that's that! They're highly mobile bipedal weapon platforms. <laughs> Weapons? Hell yeah! Should we take these for a spin by killing one of them? <laughs> no, wait a minute. Is that- what's your name? Child Carol Girl, I think it is. 
from the hair. It wouldn't be any fun picking on playing good for nothing commoners. <laughs> You're right. We should at least wait. We should at least think of an interesting way to kill you. Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you until your guts come rushing out like toothpaste. Gushing out. Wait! <laughs> Not like toothpaste, that's the pro- Oh, this is martial artist girl, actually. Not like toothpaste. Oh, I just imagined it. I can't handle the door. Oh, yeah. Well? Then what if we start peeling off their limbs one by one like string cheese? Wait, he's not like string cheese either. Wait, we can't kill him with the ex ex that word's name is definitely. According to the schedule, the ex ex aren't supposed to show up until later. What are you saying? We'll work that. But we're in the exiles right now. Oh, so we are. We screwed up. We're not supposed to be in the exorcism for our first appearance. I told you we should have read the script. What are you saying? No, you didn't. Well, why don't we just get out of these nets? It shouldn't be too late for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. So. Okay. Ready. Okay, this is- oh, they're mono. Okay, I don't know why- I was thinking Koopa Kids, I think. Huh? Hey. See? We're out of the Exosols. Now we're not scary anymore, right? 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 This music is cool. This desperation is strangely terrifying. You guys ready? You punk asses better brace yourselves. And he's just straight out terrifying. That's right. I'm a messenger from hell, from the depths of hell. Gonna drag you down to hell. What the fuck is with this game? One. Oh no, Mono Kid, you're saying hell too much. It's ruining the hellish impact. Hey. That guy seems sophisticated. Huh? What's hellish mean? <laughs> hey, what's up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? Right now, I you're on the have no idea. Amazing stuffed animals. Yeah. On top of that, it seems like they're calling themselves the Mono Cubs. Moving stuffed animals. Mono Cubs. Huh? Holy shit, this music is awesome. Wait, you guys call yourselves the Mono Cubs? That remains of a once powerful so. Oh, don't bother asking, Mono Dan. Right now, he only talks to close friends. Years and years, and really done a number on his part. Uh, poor guy. Isn't that right, Mono Dan? One, two, wait, did Danny just talk to us? No, wait. Yeah, Danny talked to us with the where are the Mono Cups. Mono Dan, you won't even open two. your heart to me. Looks like I was right. This is exactly what I thought it was. How the fuck does he know? But who's behind all this? Why the ridiculous theatrics? Shut up! Gosh, shut up, you! All you- Wait, all you were reacting to way too normally to this. It's boring. Actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring too? Hey! Wait a minute. You think maybe we haven't been given their first- Wait, what? They haven't been given their first memory yet. Yeah? Huh? Two. That should have happened before they woke up. Three. Hey, answer my question. If you guys are the Mono Cubs, then. Hey, who the hell are you, punks? Huh? Huh? That is. What do you mean? Right what? Now, you're on We're the just wondering. Of an this guy. Oh, okay. He's not sophisticated. Then. Oh, I think it's supposed to be a case. I don't fucking know. One. Do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? Two. Ultimate. No. I don't have one. I have a skill that I devote myself to, but I wouldn't call it an ultimate talent. Uh, um, me either. I don't have anything like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, same here. Don't 
I knew it, they haven't gotten their first memory yet. Hey. Monophony. Monophony. I think it's supposed to be Stephanie. Monophony. Weren't you in charge of that? Sleeping. She really, wait, she really seemed tired. Ah, she seemed really tired, to you guys. You stupid. She's obviously right faking it. You're on okay, the he's of an amazing adventure. Even if she's faking, she looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. Guitar dude's gonna tell you that. If you say so. Um. Uh, anyway, if you guys really are the Mono Cubs, then. Okay. Yes. Don't worry about us. The real issue is the used bastard. Well, issue is putting it mildly. This is actually a huge problem. Use all of forgotten your talents and become generic high school students. Huh? Forgotten? See, according to the backstory, there's this ultimate hunt going on. You've all lost your memories and become different people because of the ultimate hunt. Um, what are you talking about? Oh well. Well, in your current state, it's pretty much pointless to talk to you guys about this since I use that time. The first thing you need to you guys to do is remember your true selves. Right. Yeah, you need to reclaim your sealed talents by regaining your memories. What the? Are you awake already? Why? I don't get it. What are these sealed talents you're talking about? How are we supposed to talk when you keep asking so many friggin' questions? Yeah, we're not some swift-footed singer who's landed another future ex-boyfriend. Oh well. Let's do this already. No one wants to watch a bunch of generic high school fighters. That's right. First, we'll update your wardrobe so you guys look all cute and spit. Okay, I've seen this scene actually. If it's like it is. Yeah, it's fucking silly. <laughs> Alright, oh, where's your barrette? Oh, there it is. Oh, barrette sucks. Uh, Frame rate, why? What am I wearing? Hmm, looking good. That could look more like Ultimates. Huh? Ultimates? Really? So. Next up, the memory you've all been waiting for. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Get ready. Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of this killing game. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. All right. Now then, after the flashback light helps you remember your amazing talents. This amazing story will begin for real this time. So long, farewell! Oh, what the fuck? Do you want to see- oh, okay, well that's- That's pretty sudden. Uh, pre-slot one, yes. Yay. Oh, that's weird. I'm gonna go with that one. Wait. I just saved. How do I? Okay, just hit escape. Ultimate Revival. What the? F I'm back in the locker. Okay. Huh? Stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, am I gonna hit my head again? I fell on the floor. <laughs> ah. Couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. Is she gonna realize that this is a repeat? <laughs> Thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Huh? Wait, wait, where am I? What is this place? I rushed my throbbing. Oh, I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is definitely going to leave a bump. 
I looked around. A classroom? Yeah, this is a classroom all right, but I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? Ah! Oh, is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek. But all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um... Okay, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end, I just couldn't. <coughs> Suddenly, the locker next to me started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker room door- the locker- fuck. The locker door slowly opened, and... A boy came stumbling out. <coughs> normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student, too. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head... <laughs> How rude! Don't freak out at me like I'm some sort of monster. Huh? Uh, sorry. Uh... I'm sorry, too, okay? I, I just have no idea what's going on. Yeah! But all the more reason why we need to stay calm. Oh, fuck. Giampo PD number one. <laughs> by Eric Sadie. Yeah, that's right. Try- Oh, okay, it's a random piano song. Try to imagine that sorrowful melody filling your head and soothing your heart. Why would a sorrowful melody- <laughs> Bear? Oh, jeez! No, it's a monster! You can freak out about this! <laughs> hey! I don't think she was talking to you. Right now, you're on the threshold so of an amazing adventure. So the real monsters for calling us monsters. I don't know if we're monsters. At least we're pretty monsters. Okay! I agree. I'm glad I was born with these looks. I definitely won the genetic lottery. Huh? Are they? Why are they talking? Aren't they just stuffed animals? We're not mono cubs, we're the stuffed animals. Hey. Mono should be saying your lines backwards. No stuffed animals. Fuck sake. No stuffed animals, us, the mono cubs, them. Oh, you've heard of us? Oh, jeez! No, of course not. I've never seen walking, talking, stuffed animals. As soon as I said that, the all of us started looking at each other. And... Yay! Yay, it worked! I'm relieved! I'm right worried now, there for a sec. You're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Oh. Hey, worried about what? I don't understand. What's going on? Okay! That should be my question right it's your game developers. One. All right, now let's tackle each issue one at a time. Get a rock hard ranger! You're so damn reliable, Monotaro. He's like a sixth grader helping out a fifth grader. Hey. Which means we should keep our expectations reasonable. Um, well, what's your question? I have loads of questions, but for starters, where are we? This looks like school. Okay, so this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Um... Ultimate Academy for Gifted, for gifted Juveniles. Hmm. Ultimate Academy. I've never heard of a school like that. That's right! Of course you haven't. This school was made for you 16 creatures. Huh? 16? That's right! Yes, there are 16 the Ultimates at this school. Huh? Ultimates? Well... You know what ultimates right are, now, right? You're on the, the government of scouts and I'll do this program yeah. called the Ultimate Initiative. Actually, ultimate basically means you have to be prestigious in a particular talent. Prodigious. <gasps> Whatever. Basically, the Ultimate Initiative exists to cultivate talent throughout the country. Promising students are all ed yeah. Promising students are all eligible. Oh my god. All eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts. Fuck that line up. 
like free school tuition and voting privileges. God, eligibility to run for elective office. They even get grant money too, right? That's right. Students chosen by the ultimate initiative are known as alternates. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, students would do anything for the honor of being a chosen ultimate. Um, I don't understand the explanation. I already know, because I'm an ultimate too, right? What? That means you gotta remember this time, so don't forget anymore. Aww. Right now, yeah, forgetting about your ultimate power is such a waste. Huh? Huh? What do you mean forgetting? Shut up! Shut up! Quit your yapping and get started already. Huh? Get started? What? So. Why, exploring this academy, of course. Well? Also, introduce yourselves to the other ultimates. Because you guys are all you guys are all gonna go and kill together later. Get a rock hard awesome. Right now, you're on the Alrighty then. Alright, <laughs> I'm not gonna read so that. Farewell! Oh, farewell for fuck's sake. Shoot! Oh, they left, but I have so many questions. Hey! This isn't a dream, right? Also, I love how his uh, title went back to three uh. question marks. No, but I wish it was. Anyway, we need to find a way out of here. They said there are 16 ultimate students here. Does that mean he's one too? Hey! Um, you're an ultimate student too. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well then. I'm. Shuichi Saihara. They call me the ultimate detective, but... Huh? You're a detective? That's amazing! No. Uh, no. I don't have all the credentials yet to call myself a detective. Oh. I don't have all the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happen to solve cases that I came across, and now people call me that. No. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My name my... is Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you. So it's Kaede. Kaede Akamatsu. Kaede Akamatsu. I'm not gonna that so hmm. Ultimate pianist. Yeah. Well, no one calls me the ultimate. <laughs> Calls me the ultimate pianist. They usually just call me piano too. Ever since I was a child, I would play the piano whenever I got bored. There were even times I played the piano so much that I would forget to eat and sleep. So she's essentially the master. Eventually, of the I won trophies from concerts, and people started praising me. That's how you got your ultimate title? And that's way more impressive than me. No. That's all I'm good for, really. Okay, she really is friggin' Chiaki with <sighs> pianos. But this is my first time meeting another ultimate student. Well, while well, ultimates are scattered all over the country, they're difficult to oh. find. Even so, there are 16 ultimate students gathered here now. Why is everyone here? Are they kidnapped? Hmm. If so, then is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the ultimates. Hey! Uh, about that. I don't remember. Huh? You don't remember? Uh, um, I've been trying to remember it. But I can't, no matter how hard I try. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I don't know how I got here. It's like that memory just fell out of my head. Uh, same here! Huh? What happened? Are you okay? What's wrong? No. Fine. I, I just got a headache, that's all. But... It can't be a coincidence that we both don't remember. What happened to us? Um... I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big deal. Right? We're confused. We just need to relax us all. Oh, of course I do. Let's imagine more he's battling so much. That's... This, that music? I don't really know much about music. I see. I see. That's unfortunate. 
When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. All right. But first, let's look for a way out. And if there are all other ultimate students here, we can talk to them too. At least one of them has got to know something. You're right. Yeah. Good idea. A team friendship. Oh, are those like a whole crowd of pieces too? You can leave the room by pressing the escape key or interacting with the door. Okay, so it's escaping here, not our... Wait, it's, it's... Okay, I can't access my name like that. What did I just do? Okay, that's a kind of joke. <laughs> it's frozen, it's like, shit, what I do? Um... Well... Um, I do find it... Crap, I had a complaint about the game. Oh, right, I don't like how the camera controls are inverted. That's a bit weird. Hallways. Even though it's a hallway, there sure are a lot of plants going around here. And the air here is heavy. Pressingly heavy. It's forcing you to recall your fears. This is just a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, I mm, just felt something in the pocket of a uniform. But it looked. Remember, I found this inside. It's some kind of mini tablet computer is just a handbook. <laughs> oh, maybe I have one too. I knew my backpack had one here. Um. The word monopad is written on it. How did this get in my backpack? Hmm. My name was displayed when it booted it up, like a student handbook. I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. Let's just hold on to it for now. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Congratulations! You can now use the monopad! Press the F key to open- oh, it's F. Okay. Open the monopad. It's got tons of game information. Stuff like the report card and map, be sure to check it out. If you got Shack Eye, you may have already noticed. By getting closer to your fellow students, your report card will be updated with content. Since you are now acquainted with Mr. Saraha, <laughs> his information has been added. I have no idea how to pronounce his last name. And I bet you can already I bet yeah, I bet you've already noticed you can level up by performing actions. I did indeed. When you level up, you still slots it. But even more skills. There are lots of skills, so review, so review them in your report card. If you want skills, make friends, strengthen your bonds, be sure to test out all the skills. Also, there's one more important thing to tell you. You can save and load the game from the handbook. Make sure you save all the important stuff. First then, off- oh, well then, off you go. Find your classmates. Not that's it first, and you'll find. Oh, I got you. Oh, mini map! That's cool. So I was just in classroom B a minute. I can't expect that, but whatever. Oh, uh, she's gonna have like a fucking. Uh, Wait a minute, is this the music room? Huh? It won't open. This room does look like it was made for me. There's a spider sign! <laughs> Actually, this track kinda reminds me of our. Uh, what is it? Miss, Miss Monomy's practice. Lesson, or whatever it's called. Ooh. Rising sign or age uh, Did you again? Hey. What do you think this place is? Ah. Check out all the fancy smancy writing. Seems like a place for eggheads. Huh? Right is this an ultimate research lab? You stupid! Hell, why would you say that? Why would you tell them? You're trying to make it all dramatic. Uh. Oh, I see, I'm sorry. Huh? 
ultimate research lab. Yay! We want you guys to keep honing your ultimate talents, so we set up these rooms for you. This is the ultimate pianist lab, but we set up labs for other ultimate students, of course. Well, actually, most of them are still hidden, though. By the way, the reason this research lab is locked is still locked. Because we're still setting up everything. Sorry, we'll hustle and get it all ready. Wipe your asses and wait! The hell you saying? That's good advice and all, but don't you mean to say hold your horses? What are you laughing at? I'll bully you like I bully Mono down. So long, farewell! I feel like Mono Dam's just gonna fucking snap at one point. Seems like the music room. But I guess it's an ultimate lab. Hey! Do you think there are really other rooms like this for everyone? Apparently he's still with me. I wonder about that too. Anyway, I thought this was a music room. Piano. <laughs> Fucking one track mine. <laughs> Again, Chiaki with piano. I play as much piano as I want, and then finally escape this place. Except she hasn't made a sleepy comment yet, I don't think. Holy shit, that square shows is big. In fact, this whole fucking recital, reticle, whatever it's called, is big. Also, I wanted to. What's it? F in this game. It's an F1, and I read it wrong. It was F1. I wanted to read this report card. That was pleasant. That was a school rule. Uh, oh, and there are question marks. That's kind of cool. Just like Scarcely. Uh, yeah, not for Johnny. Oh, wow, I'm actually taller than him. She even, she even has the same blood type as Nanami. Nanami has an O blood type too. <laughs> I'm telling you. Likes piano keys, just likes bicycles apparently. What the fuck? Ah. Uh, what have I done? I got a hope fragment from him though, or whatever it's called in this, why doesn't it show? Is the center count? Or maybe the air reduction doesn't actually count as a hope fragment, it just says it does. Oh, here's um... Her, I know who he is, the cosplayer girl. Hey! Hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Uh, huh? Did she not hear me? Okay, then. I don't want to scream in that noise. <laughs> I don't want to scream period because I have other people. I have company at my house at the moment. My sister has a friend over. I already sound like an idiot. Huh? But she still can't hear me. She's a really detailed mannequin. No. No, I don't think that's the no. case. You never know. We've already saw a moving teddy bear. As I said that, I heard it. I felt her swings. Skin squished. Okay, doesn't work either. Maybe she is just a doll. She looks so real. Try it, Suichi. This is Oh. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> just do it, it's so fun. As I grab his hand to make him poke her on her cheek. Hey now! Couldn't I be poking both sides? How truly unexpected. <laughs> uh. I see. So she wasn't doing anything. Wow, I knew that. Wait! If you knew that, why did you make me poke her? Huh? She wasn't responding. No. Oh, I didn't mean to hurt her. I was just deep in thought. Or just deep in thought. So I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. <laughs> okay, that sounds like something I would do. You ignoring us? Isn't that a bit rude? What? Um, wasn't it rude to force someone to talk when they don't want to? <laughs> oh, but it's fine. I feel like talking. Oh, right! No, it's not. What do you want to start with? Right, right. My favorite Dory or Doraemon? Is that supposed to be a Pokemon? My favorite Doraemon episode is number 53. Film the security camera and target practice. You know? Um, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? Oh, oh my name is Tanuki Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. Tanuki Shirogane. 
Sir Donald. The Ninja Sir Donald. Not a fucking word of pronunciation. So, you're a cosplayer. Are you surprised? I get that a lot since I'm so funny. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura around you. I guess because you've got people oogling all your troops and can say who they are. What the fuck? You sound like a creepy old man! <laughs> That's great. Also, very casual way to skip over mispronouncing your name again. Normally, I don't really like people looking at me like that. Actually, I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. <laughs> but lately, more cosplayers put themselves before their characters. You're right! I'd rather wear my outfits myself with gloves than give them to people like that. Mm. Wow, you're pretty intense. Oh. It makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. Well, well, of course the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. No! It's not a big deal. People just crowd me around like I'm a panda at a zoo. Mm. That's so amazing. It's pretty much a celebrity, you know? Hey! Uh, is it alright if I ask you something, too? Earlier, you said if you were thinking hard about... You looked at... Ah! Earlier, you looked as if you were thinking hard about something. What was it? Yeah, that's right! Oh, yeah! We need to ask you that. Nice job, Sweetie. It's from that one thing! That bronze dragon statue over there. I'm just playing curious about it. That's uh, nice. It almost seems like it's floating, right? It doesn't look pretty out of place. Yeah. Why did you mention it? Why? It sort of bothers me, too. This is cool, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? There's trees and grass outside. Going inside, yeah. I can't find any exits. It seems like we're the only people here. Actually, are we going to be okay? Are we going to be able to get out? I really hope this comes out okay on the microphone. Um, Hade, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. The frightening look on her face was so sexy. Is she? Okay, is she legit a lesbian? Because <laughs> even, um, what's her name? Wasn't this upfront about it. What is her name? Ibuki Miyota from Danganronpa 2, who is actually like is on record officially labeled as not a lesbian but LGBT in that group. This again. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not a big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be getting day. I see. You're pretty optimistic, about it. Mm. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's right. Worry more. Ah, worry won't get you anywhere, you know? It's better to just be carefree. Yeah! Uh, I guess so. Being all depressed won't help or anything. Yeah! Yeah, so let's try and find a way out out okay. there. Especially until a certain incident happens. Expect my voice to be dying a lot. <laughs> Although I feel that will persist throughout the entire thing. It's just going to be especially bad towards the beginning. No. I... I have no idea. Is this part of the school's official art collection or something? Uh, um, still no idea. Oh, there's a bobbing. It's, like, different than the first game's bobbing. I don't remember what the second game was. I haven't played that in the bobbing section in a while. Girl's bathroom. You know? Sweet, you, you mind waiting? Uh, okay. Uh, um, sure. Jeez. Don't give me that weird look. Let's go check if there's anything inside. I thought there'd be an exit, but. Just in case. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't actually think of it. Let me go in. Uh, okay. I was gonna say, I can't do anything. The toilet seems to be normal, but it's weird that the plants are growing this. I'd be surprised if plants were growing at all, actually, personally, my opinion. <laughs> that sound is satisfying. <laughs> Woo! Smack it. Is that the 
so satisfying. I'm way too happy about that. This monitor is way too high tech to be used in school. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, okay, I'm just gonna see what is with my frame rate. I'm just gonna assume it's gonna be with me again. I don't said anything. This is the boys' bathroom, right? I, I can't go in there, not even in this situation. Um, uh, if you want, I can go in there. Huh? I, I'm not that curious what's about what's in there. Remember, well, this is an unusual building. Anything could I'm curious if I did in the opposite order, the same thing would happen, and he'd be all embarrassed about the girls' one. Wait here a minute. With that sweetie walk. Ah, with that sweetie open the door and walk inside. Hmm. Just a normal bathroom. Nothing out of the ordinary. No one was inside. I see. I see. That's scary. Kind of scary situations. <laughs> what the? F How is that scary? You went to the bathroom. Oh, I suppose. Oh, do I get experience by walking? Yes. Is there a pet in this game? It doesn't appear so. Which is fine, because I didn't really care for the pet anyway. But, oh, I can see how many coins I have, which are evidently more frequent in this version. I'm guessing games are going to be in the hundreds now. Um, okay, so I guess let's go this way. East. So I guess I'm in the west branch, the east branch. Okay, well now I'm in the east branch. South. So, okay, so that direction is going to Um, or I can just look at the fucking mini map that tells me where the is. Classroom. Oh, this, this is the next classroom? So last one was classroom B. Oh, great, I get to smack more things. Oh, there's two, there's men in here. Hey! Hey, wait for me! Please stop! Stop, don't come any closer. William White is facing the other boy in the funny clothes. <laughs> What's happening here? Okay, I'll deal with them first. And then I... <laughs> come on, wait up! Touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? Robot? What is it? That was the wrong voice. What is it? Are you another robophobe? <laughs> oh boy. That's enough. I'm curious if that's actually the fear of robots, actually. No, I'm not sure. Or if it's a play on words on the internet. I, don't know. I have a recording. If I ha wait. I have a recording function. If I, if you, ow, for fuck's sake, if you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Hey. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for reals a robot? For reals? No. Are, are you one of the monocogs? Please stop! Do not compare me to those toys. I'm not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kiba. Okay, that's an easy one to remember. I'm okay with that. Granted, I used to think it was Kaibo, but fuck it. <laughs> Ultimate robot. Hmm. That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself to. Okay, so this guy I'm just gonna leave while well, nail. Ah, uh, Kyoko. Yeah. What I'm doing so far. Oh, uh, go ahead. I'm Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. Okay, Kokichi. Or I can just call him my other one. A robot in the screen here. Neither of them make any sense. By the way, I learned that the hard way. I learned. Wait, what? I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. Oh, My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not funny. You're not funny. Right? Of course you don't think that for fuck's sake, you think that's funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me! 
him study the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think we should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Um, plus I have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student just like you. I mean, huh? You're a high school student? Yeah. I can't decide on a voice for this dude. I was created by fresher... Yeah, fuck. Professor Idabashi, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed me in a strong AI, capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why, at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But, but the professor raised me like I was his own child. That's actually kind of cool. He taught me so many things. And finally, he enrolled me in his How about this? And now I stand before you all. See, I'm just like everyone else. Hey! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Please do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> um. <laughs> that was evil. What the f. That's all. Huh? Okay. What? Um. You gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? Seriously? The Supreme Leader. Of an evil secret organization. Because I'm a liar. Who knows? I am a liar after all. Huh? <laughs> so you were just lying now? It's true! Please. So, are you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Hey! And by the way, what is the name of that organization? Ah. It's a secret, you know? Because it's a secret organization. But. But I've never heard of such a large secret organization. Maybe? Of course you haven't, because it's a secret organization! Jeez. Hey, everything you said so far sounded like a lie, so... It's gotta be a lie too, right? Yeah. Just leave him alone. He has e everything he has been saying has been a lie. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. Well, of course you're a nice, suspicious person. You just robot sound people, silly. Aw, <laughs> oh, you mad? You can hit me with a rocket punch in his eyes. You can't! I don't have that function. Aw, oh, oh, man. You're boring. You cute boy. He's like a mischievous little kid. But this is no time to be joking around. Unless he really is an evil supreme leader. <laughs> Kochi report cards have been updated. I'll check the report cards like, for like the next cutscene or something, just so I can get them all at once. And now, fast forward time. At the front! <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm in the front. <laughs> I see. With hesitance to reach you leading the way. We carefully make our way down the stairs. Fuck's oh, sake. <laughs> Hallway, basement floor. Um. It doesn't look very dangerous to me. Really? Ah. Uh, some dangers are hidden where you can't see. I see. Sweetie, you do uh, you have quite the imagination, don't you? No. No, I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. <laughs> yeah, maybe. 
We should look around in the basement too. Right? There might be an exit. Oh, but but we should be careful. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Also, I'm just gonna apologize now because I'm gonna make a little error while reading. Because I know I just made one there. I didn't say look around in the basement. I said look in the basement or something. Game room. Oh, here's, uh, huh? what's his name? It looks like a game room. That would explain the sign. But this is a school, right? It, is it normal for a school to have its own game room? The last one well, did. It certainly is strange. What now? Sheesh. What a strange place. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect to have a game room. Um... Are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, right? You've still got a ways to go. Isn't that what you guys are walking around looking for? And figure it out yourself. Yeah. Oh. Okay. However. We may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here. Compared to prison, anyway. Huh? Prison? What? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? That's an old story. That's an old story. Ryoma Hoshi. Huh? The man called the ultimate tennis pro no longer exists. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. Ah! Oh. Oh my, uh, fuck. Ryoma Oshi. That's not how you pronounce it. Really? I, I've seen you in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia. Huh? You took down a mafia by yourself? If I remember correctly, the paper said he shot them through the head with his tennis skills and an iron ball. God damn. voice. <clears throat> hmm. So you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before you who used his talent to kill? Um. But why would you throw away your future like that? Jeez. Because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? Huh? No. No. It's nothing. Not like me to talk so much. More important. Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to just walk up to a killer like me. As he said that, he turned his back to us. <laughs> Friendship, quote unquote, friend. Uh, the almost report cards may update based on your experience with them. That should be interesting. I think it's just blood type and shit. Which is kind of interesting, because you never ask his blood type or anything, or his. Dem I guess the height you can maybe actually be an estimate. Same with the chest. What the fuck? Is that not the door we came in? Mm. It looks like it's locked. Yeah. I wonder what's inside this room. I hope we can investigate it later. Yeah, I'm also gonna be fucking up voices from time to time. Alright, I guess we'll escape them. Yes, I wanna leave. Alright, so that's explored. That's where I just came from. Oh, I can inspect this monitor. It's just the same statement. What? Huh? Uh, what? Um. What's wrong? Um. This door barely opens a crack. Was it poorly built? I see. Huh? Nothing we can do about it. Let's search somewhere else. Library. That globe is kind of cool. Oh, this is where our uh, child care girl is. As soon as I open the door, I suddenly gag from the musty smell of old books. Hmm. Is this a library? You're right. These are... There are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. Uh. Oh, does that bother you? Are you a neat freak, Suichi? No. No, it's just... I was wondering if someone was using it before us. Huh? Huh? S someone? No. Uh, it's... It's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. Okay, I wanna ch What the fuck is with my mouse? My mouse started backing weird. This looks like a ladder for reaching books on higher shelves. What a beautiful globe. <laughs> that was a lot of info about that globe. Yeah, it seems all I can investigate except for what's with I like how it specifies double doors. What was I- there are a lot of books crammed in here. They're all different languages, too. 
How's someone supposed to take a book off the shelf while they're crammed in like this? There, no! That's not what I wanted to look at! There we go. Felix best. Hey! Um, are you a ultimate student too? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Is that it? Sure doesn't talk much. I... I'm Hare Akimatsu, the ultimate pianist. I'm... I'm Suichi Suraha. <laughs> I'm just calling him that from now on. <laughs> and I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. Jeez. Jeez, not suppose. You are the ultimate detective, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Um... And what about you? Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. Okay, I, got a I see. Ultimate child caregiver, huh? <sighs> Surprised. I don't look like someone who'd like kids, do I? Huh? Huh? That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Um. But if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not even that friendly. Mm-hmm. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much. Hey. Then they can probably tell how loving you really are, Maki. Mm-hmm. Yeah, th that must be it. You chose a per perfect career for yourself. That's wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? Huh? W what do you mean by that? So what? Nothing. It's just, I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with hope a lot. Orphanage, huh? Um, uh, by the way, do you know anything about the monocopes? Yeah, that's right! Yeah, someone's gotta be controlling them, right? Any idea who it might be? Like I'd know. Well, how, or how would I know? Hmm. Well, fair point. Hmm, the monocopes are definitely involved in our situation. Right a minute. Hey, boy detective, Shane. Sh or, hey, boy detective. Shane, you already have figured out what's going on already? Huh? What? Um... Well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything. Yeah. I mean, wh who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Well... Yeah, she is very positive. Seriously? You think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from around the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group of ca a group capable of that would just let us walk out of here? That's not true. Well, if they won't end this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. What? Work together with strangers? You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. She reminds me of a uh, program in a way. What? The okay, she walked away. Our conversation finished. Quickly head out of the library. Hmm, that was kinda odd. She didn't seem like the ultimate child caregiver. Jeez. Jeez, don't say that. Nice here. Um, I haven't been keeping track of how many people, so I don't know how many people are left. So that's the library we just explored. I already explored the game room. What's down here? Right, that's a library again. Okay. So they're both in the library. So I guess that's the basement explored fully. Nope, can't smack those around. I can't smack in this mode. That's right. It feels weird just walking to those instead of pushing E. I'm just thinking of um, thinking of a one mechanics. No, I can't inspect that. All right. So where have I not been yet? Right, I tried to get in that classroom. I went in there. That was where I grew up. Kibo and um, Leader Goose Bag work. These are the bathrooms. Uh, oh, there's a man. Hello, man. Hey. Oh, hey there. You guys get kidnapped too? Well, you both look alright. That's good. No. Situation could be better though. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Hey. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? Um, if you're asking us, then we don't remember either. Actually, that is the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? I guess that means everything is the same. Huh? Huh? Everyone? No. Oh, yeah, 
past the others too. They all said they don't remember. But the others don't remember either. It's like we all have amnesia or something. But uh, but that's not normal. If everyone here has amnesia. Well, I guess we're in a all in a pretty abnormal situation then. Huh? What? That's not true. Wait, amnesia's a stretch. You're probably just confused. I'm, I'm sure we'll remember eventually. No. Or it could be group hypnosis, maybe brainwashing. <laughs> In any case, I hope we remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. Mm. The outcast? What do you mean? He doesn't remember his calendar, he doesn't have one. To tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. Okay, so yeah. You got me. I'm in trouble, I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Um, is that true? Yeah, of course it is, but then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh. Uh, I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I already told you, but then I forgot I did, right? No. No, you haven't told me your name yet. My name is Rantaro Omar. I can't remember my ultimate. But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. Someone who can't remember his talent is not. He doesn't seem to be shaken up about it. Actually, is it weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent? Huh? What? I'm looking forward to it. No, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what talent I have. <laughs> anyway, it would be nice if we could get along. We weren't going anywhere for We aren't Jeez. going anywhere for long. Stop that. We'll escape soon. You really think it's gonna be that easy? Huh? Well, what do you mean? No. Nothing. Just a feeling. <laughs> anyway. Hey, don't don't worry about it. Okay? I thought he would be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but I, I have no idea what's going through his head right now. In friendship fragments. Rantaro's report card has been updated based on your experience, but why am I talking in the voice? That's just the announcement. Uh, we got the school store, a kitchen, dining hall, and a warehouse. TVs! That's fun. Alright, let's do some of this first one. Oh, well, never mind. I guess this doesn't open. Let's look somewhere else. You're right. Okay. Also, I should mention now, expect me to mess up names and constantly get lost in this place. I'm terrible with names and my goody memory and labyrinths are uh, like this. Dining Hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. But this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Baby Juveniles. I doubt it's anything like a typical. Fuck, this one's gonna be an annoying voice to do. So we are stuck here. Um. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh. But don't be scared. I'm, I'm sure we'll be out of this place in a jiffy. No. Not scared. It's just a pain. Something like this won't make me panic. Cause I'm a mage. Huh? A, a mage? Hmm. That's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be a maze. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeto, the ultimate mate. Okay, I think I got a voice for it. <laughs> but I'm officially called the ultimate magician. She seems fucking static. I see. Oh, you're a magician. She just said that from the start. I mean, it makes sense though, since magic doesn't exist. Oh shit, that's gonna trigger. Uh -huh. Magic does exist. Huh? I... Because I am a mage. Um... You're just a magician, right? No. Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I'm actually a maze. A mage. Huh? Yes. You guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle. 
also known as the Hall of Magicians. It's where the world's magic lovers gather. I was the youngest person to ever win the Magician of the Year award. I see. That's pretty cool. Wow. It's all a ruse. Why you? You're keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. <laughs> but I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. Um. There, there. Don't be sad. Hey. Well, I, you could show us your magic. Then I would. Then we would believe you. That's right. Uh, that's right. What was up with your magic? Take us back to when we originally. No. Magic is an all powerful. I can only do so much. Mm. What can you do? You're right. <laughs> I can choose the card you picked, pull out coins, and release really stuff. If I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Those are just ordinary magic chips. Hey, before card's been updated. Okay, first of all, first of all, first of all. Jesus! That is a complete polar opposite to a board of shit nature. I'm yelling so I build up my spirit energy. Don't you know you can unlock the brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy? That's... I heard that pro athletes do that. It's not a focus. I must be prepared for combat at all times, in case someone tries to attack. I will protect myself with me a Neo Akad. Neo Akadu. Huh? Akadu? Senor. Oh, yes! Oh, yeah. I'm Tango Chabashira. Hiya! Ultimate Aikido Master. The ultimate Aikido Master. Okay, I got a voice first. That's the point where my voice gets decent, I feel. Mm. I've always imagined the Aikido Masters to be huge, burly guys, but you're so. Again! But you're so cute. Cute? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! I'm, I'm not cute! My face twinkles when it's sucked down its shape, and when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. <laughs> I- oh my god, poor Suichi. But I can do it, dude. Right, Suichi? Uh, okay. Uh, oh, right. Huh? What's the matter? Your, your face looks really intense now. I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. Generate males. Are you uncomfortable about it? Yes! Way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. Any degenerate has to touch me, or you find just to grab them and throw them across the room. Yeah, yeah I can. I'm, I messed up her voice already. I lost it. You're right. That is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around her. Hey! Uh, by the way, what is this Neo Akado you know? That's right! Neo Akado is an original form of Akado. But I know it's a different choice. That my master and I completely made up ourselves. So your Kato is on top. Obtain friendship fragment. Okay, that done. Oh, you impress R as well. Okay, because I just distinctively, instinctively pushed R to leave. Okay, school store was locked. So that leaves. I was just in there. I'm a fucking idiot. No! Damn it! Okay, what's still left of me? I'm still left of me, Jokes to the right. Oh, here's what's her name. Is this a warehouse? It's pretty big. Damn it! What the hell is it? Looking for it. Don't sneak up on me, bitch. Did you just met you and already called me a bitch? Hey! Hey, uh, I'm sorry if we surprised you, but we shouldn't sure talk to Kata hey. like that. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's staring at me. Huh? What? <laughs> oh my god, no. I didn't even think about how. Fun, it's gonna be the leader dialogue. 
Go on, get yourself a good eye for it. Uh, you know what? I was just stealing my eyes just happened to look there. You mother Oh, my eyes just happened to look there. Oh, my hand just happened to grow her. Ha! Fucking virgin! <laughs> I can identify her fucking hell. Her <laughs> voice. Her I can identify purrs on sight. Decking me a fucking purr. That's why you wear that hat, right? To hide your skeevy eyes. And why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty touch. Everyone wears pants, though. Those are only purrs for the hats. He's <laughs> just hiding his eyes, too, so that's part. Stop it. <laughs> me alone! I can wear a hat if I want to. <laughs> Are you getting pissed off at me before? What? Tell the world you're sorry. You startled me into losing motivation. That loss was felt across the world. Hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for. Who are you anyway? Seriously? You don't know who I am. I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden okay. brain will go down in history. Okay, I got it. I'm the one, the only, the legendary the ultimate, ultimate inventor, inventor herself. herself? Ultimate inventor herself. Okay, I think I got it. That's my best attempt anyway. Why can I not press? Okay. Oh, it wasn't working. Um, I never heard of you. So, what kind of things do you invent? I make all kind of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you're asleep, read while you sleep. Even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Okay, I found the other part. She actually mommy. I found where that went. Why does that be all sleep? Oh, I should have taken a screenshot. <laughs> That's so accurate. I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. <laughs> so this one time, I invented these really stupid eyedrop contact lenses as a gag and they got huh? Wait, really? That, that's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. I know those. My friends sound nothing like total plebs. Plebs are please. Thanks, plebs. That invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive when you see it, so it was a failure, just like you do. I signed the patent rights so over some company and never looked back. That seems like a waste, it's way better than all your new stuff while sleeping. Oh. Oh, by the way, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to remind you. What was that? Eh? Are you a dumbass? In a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. Oh, is she a druggie or is she huh? have a legitimate condition? Medicine? Feeling sick? Fucking moron! No, idiot! Oh my fucking god. Oh, okay, never mind, she is a buggy. I need some strong meds, so. I thought that said rip, and I was very confused. That's why I said, oh my god. Strong meds, because I want to trip my fucking balls off. Ah! I just want to set my mind free and forget all about this shitty situation. Oh, Wait, what? You can't use drugs to get I You definitely shouldn't do that. <laughs> Oh, my genius can't be constrained by the wisdom of the masses. Besides, Spix probably doesn't even have the shit I need to get loose and loosey. Oh, fuck's sake. Please forgive me. Are we cool? Are you done being mad at me? I say there's a fine line between genius and insanity, but she's definitely beyond insane. Alright, well, she's an uh, interesting character. Aw, uh, is he still hurt by the insults? Aw, uh, is it something about his hat? Well, let's talk about it. I'm curious if it's like a Hey Arnold situation or something. What the f- I don't know, what the hell? Oh, oh, okay, it's a pole vault bar, okay. This looks like a high jump pole for track and field. I didn't expect to see professional equipment like this here. It's an ultimate school, what did you expect? Oh, uh, I suppose- No, cause yeah, it's a warehouse, so I guess we'd have all the school supplies. Probably. Oh! No, I wanna- Oh, E works too, evidently. The shot put ball for track and field. Does this place even have a sports stadium? Or nothing. What's this doing in school warehouse? That's a drone! I suppose it's actually a drone, but... There are hurdles, too. 
can hurl our own track and field moves with all this equipment. These mats are pretty heavy, and it must be a lot of work to carry these to the gym. I'm trying to think if there's anyone I know for fact I haven't seen yet. I haven't met Goddess Girl. That leads back to there, so this is staircase. And the hallway. Oh, was I just supposed to end here instead? Oh. Uh, I guess this doesn't open. It's like somewhere else. You're right. Okay. Okay, I'm calling it right now. This is Shuichi's door. Like his research lab or whatever they call it. Oh. Evo. Yeah, these are definitely actual people's names. Oh yeah, I'm missing um Wait, I just Gen. Oh so he's a big box. There's mine. But I'm missing uh Enter Wall as well. Is this the gym? Huh? Huh? It's like we can't go in there. What's the matter? No. It's nothing. It just feels strange. Um. Strange. How so? Uh, okay. Like, Deja. Oh boy. Here we go. Like, I've been here before. Could it be. You might be caught up in something even stranger than you imagine. Mm. Well, it's natural to feel unsettled, but you know so little about what's going on. But we'll probably be fine. Um, what makes you say that? Because... Because we have 16 ultimate students on our side. Well, technically, wait, you guys only have 14 because you have two of them. Or if you're referring to yourself, 15 because you're one of them. So... You got that wrong. Okay, hi day. Kay day. As long as we work together as friends, I just know nothing that will happen. That was purposely mispronounced, by the way. <laughs> Do you not have friends? Aww. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time a thing would look like you that, but... I can't go in there, so I guess this hallway is a fucking bust. What? Huh? It says, Kenshin Passport. Is that some kind of decoration? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, there's an engine in the middle. I wonder what that is. This place seriously has a lot of good stuff. I guess maybe try the school store again? Nope, still doesn't know them. Okay, that's where I just came from. What's down there? Whoa, what? Oh, looks like the iron grate. Someone opened it for us. Let's check it out. Entrance hall. Right, Sweetie. Oh, right, Sweetie. This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Uh, okay. Yeah, I suppose so. Hey, which means. Mm -hmm. This door must be the entrance. If we can walk through it. We can escape this place, right? No. Wait, I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Do not work. Oh, fuck, I forgot about this thing. I don't even know what that one is. Worrying about that isn't necessary. I've already examined the doors. Uh, oh, um, yes. You wonder, who is this? Yes, I will make that first. 
My name is Karekio Shinguchi. I am called the Ultimate Anthropologist. Called the Ultimate Anthropologist. For I've missed the name. Did you know? Karekio the Anthropologist. Oh. Please, call me Dio. Okay, I'm okay with that. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? I see. Okay, sure. I know what anthropology, anthropology is. Like you'll smart. Anthropology studies customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. There may even be customs in your daily life, which is which you do not know. Let's see. For example, certain aspects of birthday New Year celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these rigorous analysis. It's a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see. Sort of get it, but not really. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's correct. Well, of course it's fun. It's a study based focused on humanity. Beautiful. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess in infinite beauty. Um. Oh. Oh. Um, I. I find all. Oh boy. I find all aspects of humanity ugly parts. Be beautiful. Cannibalism is beautiful, folks. So there you go. You're in your first. Our present situation is rather confusing. A beautiful idea to witness here. Humanity is beautiful. People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep. And turns out he is one too. Anyway, can we go outside if we just go through these doors, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we should find the answers to such questions. You should find the answers to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that may be too beautiful. What does he mean by that? This guy looks like a fucking creep. Okay, that also opens the shortcut to this one. But there's no transition now. We probably just get first. Oh, yeah, that's definitely why. So. Shuichi! Then let's go. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Determined <laughs> as I was, I just played most of the cards. To be honest, I was scared, because what if Yon is scared? Wrong. Ah jeez, this isn't like me. Uh, I'm scared doesn't mean I need to run away. I gotta move forward. Are you okay? Got it. Of course! Don't worry about it. Let's go, Sabuchi. I set myself up in the newfound strength, walked slowly towards the doors. I've messed up her voice now too, I think I'm going too high. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight, gentle wind, and oh boy, and a dome. A, a cage? <sighs> a wall? Both words were accurate. What stood before us was both a cage and a wall. They're under the dome. Either way, the enormous wall struck a Terrifying chord for fuck's sake. The mere sight of its imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. No matter where we looked, ahead, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped? What's going on? Oh boy. <laughs> Surprised about the cage, huh? What? Totally understand how you feel. First time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. Yes, showing his teeth. That's not a healthy way to react to a surprise. Yo, but it's awesome. Wait, but it's so awesomely huge. I can see why it's called the end wall. Huh? Amazing adventure. That's right. Normally, walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. Talking about what? One. What were we talking about? Yeah. Two. Huh? Is someone talking? Is I talking? Is there <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing and explain yourself. I was the oh. Right now, you explain? you're on the threshold it's of the amazing is, adventure. So you're still yeah. bothered. You can't get out of here. One. There's no entrances or exits, and it cannot be climbed or get out. 
Well, actually, an ultimate can probably climb it part way, but most of the time it's impossible. What? But they can still sort of climb it. Shout it at the wall, side of the I don't want to scream that. Someone help us! Right now, you're at the threshold of an amazing adventure. Please help us. Someone! Anyone! Please! I can't scream in that place. We're trapped inside this huge thing. I can't do it. I shouted as loud as I could, but... For all my shouting, there's no response. all that remains of a once powerful Yoshi. Stop it! Please stop. Right now, you're on the threshold. That's right! Yeah, stream all you like. No one can hear you anyway. Huh? No one can hear us? Hey! What do you mean no one can hear us? Wait! Say something! Hey! One of you, just answer! Damn it! Damn it. Two. Hmm. Mother Dan is annoying and excellent. Three. He just open his heart. <laughs> you can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen. Oh, yeah. Let's all get along. Dumbass! Shut up. We're the mother. You're on the threshold of an amazing now. adventure. Showtime. Thanks. Thanks. This is cool. What is all this? Shut up. You bastards have to fake me. You bastards have to use a fuck. You bastards have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to figure that one out for yourself. Actually, but please watch your step with me, Flora. School is still under construction. Huh? Under construction? I looked around. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Some, some areas did seem as if there's no one. So is this going to be the equivalent to unlocking more floors than the original, more things get filled, or more islands in the second game? It looks like they're still building some of the facilities here. Are they still in the building in the middle of the building? Are they still, ah, are they still in the middle of the building? No, I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating in the end of the threshold. Either way, the construction will finish soon as we want. Finish soon once we set the exos on autopilot. Huh? Exos? Hell yeah! Once part of a biker game, the exos now work construction to support their wives and kids. Do robots really need that kind of story? Um, their stealing wheels are leopard print, and their dashboards are behind the arcade address. You stupid! Seriously, knock it off, you guys. Sound like douchebags with backstories and right those. And here they go again. More importantly, is what they said really true? We, we can't escape? We can't go for the wall? And no one's coming to rescue us. jeez! Oh, but if I give up now, then what? I sat both my cheeks as my face grew warm. I could feel my determination returning. Hey! Hey, Shuichi. Let's see if we can find a way out. I slapped him upside the head. <laughs> Just firm enough to get the Ow! How? You know? Shuichi. I'm not great at motivating things. <laughs> but we can't just give up because of a wall. We came in here somewhere, so there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right! We may not be able to escape now. We'll do it eventually, somehow. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate if we want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. Oh, there's one of these. Hello, Fonda. Jeez. Jeez. How'd they even make this big ass wall? Hmm. Seriously, I just don't get it. Hey! I wonder what will happen now. We can't escape. Hey! What? Are you complaining? Huh? Listen up. Quit complaining, rumbling, or I'll turn it into a hat or I'll turn into a habit. Besides, this kid is nothing compared to the fastest in the universe. Um, uh, in the universe. Got it. Oops. I haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. astronaut. 
Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Oh, cool. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Mm, yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know that much about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, not anyone. Can, yeah, not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. I see. Oh, I see. So you're still a trainee. But you know, but I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? Then how did you take the exam? So... I had a friend who was pretty crappy, so I had him forge some stuff for me. Oh, damn. Oh, jeez! That's illegal! Yeah. Yeah, I ended up getting caught. That was some pretty deep shit. But the people up top decided they liked me and let me in anyway. Because I aced the exam. Of course I aced the exam, too. That's reckless. Got it! Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. No way I can wait until after college. I wanna get to space as fast as I can. You sure have a lot of energy. You got it. Yeah, everyone told me it was impossible, but I never gave up. Not for a moment. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them yourself. I kinda like that quote actually. Let's do it. There are no walls you can't get over. The same goes for that one. Could it be do you have any ideas? That's not the problem! <laughs> uh, no, that is the problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks a big game. Talks a big game. Alright. Oh, my throat hurts. What the fuck are those things? I can't inspect them. Anymore. Can I run? No, the walls. Here it isn't. There's a door over right there. Well, okay, that's a transition. Oh, there's on tomorrow, just dude. What the fuck is that thing? What the fuck is that? What the? F what? Um, it's, it's a ninja statue. You're right. It looks like one. Why is this here? Seriously, there's so many options. Fucking alrighty then. I feel like that has relevance. That's a knowledge of you, what's up? Gonto or something like that. Oh yeah, he talks in third person too. Whoa. This guy looks scary. So big and muscular. Um... Um, excuse me. Huh? Hmm? Thank you! Oh, thank you! Huh? Thank you? Sorry! So sorry for scary. Um... Gonto's... Gonto's scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for the first time. Cause Gonta gentlemen. So, like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Yeah. Um, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh! Oh, right. Gonta needs to make introduction. Um, Gonta's name is oh, Gonta okay. Gokuhara. Uh, Gonta's Gonta talent is ultimate, ultimate entomologist. Oh. Gonta want to become gentleman. Becoming true gentlemen, Gonta's goal. That grammar's gonna be fun to trip over. I see. Oh, so you're Gonta. That's a really Gonta. Gonta. Yeah, I did. That was right. That's not okay. That's a really cute name. Huh? Really? Thank you. You're actually pretty nice. It's really neat to be so scary. Maybe. Really? Oh, Gonta's scary looking. Huh? Sorry. Oh, sorry. That, that, that's not what I meant. No. No. It's okay. Don't you used to it. Don't you call it scary since you used to Um... Since you were a kid, huh? Oh, don't Kids don't are bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gonta. So can't Gonta play alone. That's how Gonta come to like ones. But when Gonta really lose... Wait, really focus. It's easy to lose track. One day Gonta go to forest to find bugs. End up lost. You see? That sounds rough. Were they able to find you right away? Hmm. Yeah. Took ten years though. What? Jesus Christ! Ten years. What? But Gonta fine. New family took care of Gonta. Oh no, mm. this is raised by actual apes. I see. Well, I'm glad they were nice people. They're not people. Um. Uh. Yep. Okay. Wolves. Oh, not people. Wolves. Huh? Wolves. What? But they really nice. Cause the forest family. Gonta learned to speak bug and animal. Gonta. As thanks. Gonta wanted to show Forest Family what a great gentleman Gonta is. How's becoming a gentleman going to be? This 
pretty strange, huh? Lots of plants, but no bugs. Huh? Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable. Ralph was. I suppose it's understandable that there are no animals, but no insects. That's strange. Not even one bug. You mean you like bugs too? Amazing. Oh, Jesus Christ! Hey, what's your favorite bug? What do you like about them? Uh, uh, no, I, I wasn't saying that I like bugs or anything. Wait! Hey, then you hate bugs? Huh? What? But how? You, you hate bugs? And that's not true. You don't hate bugs. You love them, right? She goes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course I do. I, I love bugs. Thank goodness. Oh, okay. That good. No bad person makes bugs. Gontas I almost did in Gontas. I almost said Gontas report card. Gontas report card is my update. Hmm. That was scary. I thought he was gonna die. <laughs> Honestly, I can't stand bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. He seems nice though, I actually like him. Okay, we got rubble. Uh, I can't go that way. Although, from the detail and the direction, it seems like we can go uh, to the point. Uh, we haven't been here. No idea what the fuck this is. Shrine of Judgment. God girl! The goddess girl. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm oh, the ultimate oh, artist. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. I really hope they even fuck someone like If it doesn't, you can just really um, You're pretty cheerful. He's a bit too happy considering the situation right now. <laughs> There's no reason to carry bad thoughts, but that. That's way too. Yeah, I live every day like it's great, cheery, and fun. Cause I do it. Okay, I can't go any lower without going into a different octave, so I guess that's my voice right So says Ulta. Huh? Uta. I mean, fuck. Uta. I... Okay. The god of the islands. Uta is always speaking. Speaking to me with his divine voice. Oh. She's certainly the god. Um... Do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh... I do both. I prefer painting. I paint paintings and I sculpt. Fuck. I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. I'm trying to get it in between. Because that is way too fucking high. It's gonna hurt you guys too. But it's just the one who makes the art. Everything we offer my body is special. So divine! How divine! I see. I'm actually not too far off. At least by my ears. I see, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you some some of your Of course, of course! Of course! And what's wrong? Right? Are you making an offering? Um... An offering? Uh... Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly familiar to putting up the trash for take out. I can't even say that in her voice and laughing. But, but... Don't worry, don't worry. When I say laughing, I just made up my- You're two of your blood, Jesus Christ! <laughs> don't worry. Sorry. Um, I'm a bit of anemic, so I'll pass. Is that scared of blood? I don't know. I see. I see. What about you, Dad? Huh? Me? Oh, uh, yep. Boys, but he's also an acceptable offering. Come on, come on! Come on, come on, we're here in a bit! Ugh. W wait a minute! <laughs> Don't run away! Is that everyone? Okay, because that's everyone I can think of. But I don't know who- Whoa! My hand is numb for some reason. I don't know who else is. I've talked to the cosplay for a while. Oh! Maid- Maid Lady! Where's Maid Lady? I'm missing Maid Lady. I ain't go here. Dormitory. I may not be allowed in here. No, I am. There's Maid Lady and some other dude. Very nice oh, that's- <laughs> Oh, he's in the dorm. Wow. Very nice Shit, to see you again. Why, hello, bear. We're intruding. Sorry to intrude. Jeez. What is it this time? And what do you mean by intruding? So, 
hell you saying? You're home, you bastard. <laughs> That's all that remains. I can't place. decide on a voice for that guy. I don't get his personality. We finished setting up the sours, so right you and Tate go hey. the threshold of amazing Why don't they just use the toilets? Huh? You don't remember two in the shower. Ew, that's gross. Well, that was that was a very necessary interruption. Could it be they mean for us to live here? See, there are 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us. Stop it. I don't plan on I'm doing the wrong voice. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Alright, uh, British doors for her, maybe. But... Failed to see their objective. Um... Uh, what do you mean? Oh. They're holding us for ransom. A large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. Uh, not doing the British voice on the In light of this, I failed to see the true objective. I never thought about that. But why would our characters get all this trouble? Six year all fits in the battle. But why? What's the reason? Excuse me. Pardon me. I have not introduced myself yet. I am Kirimi Tojin, the ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my service. Okay, there's all the points for I see. Wow. The ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Oh, oh wait! I've heard of Kuro uh, Tojo. If I remember correctly, an ultimate whose incredible intellect and strength working as a private maid. I've heard that her work is so perfect she can even complete any she can complete any request given to her. Huh? What? She's that amazing? You do not agree. Please. You are exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is that for I once received a uh, what? A request to annihilate a rival nation, but as it was impossible, I rejected it. I... Being requested to do that has pretty impressive on its own. That's true! I've also heard that she's hi been hired as a bodyguard to several foreign... Dignity... 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 That word. I do not agree. I only have been employed as a maid, not as a bodyguard. I see! You've been hired by so many important people. You'd like... A super maid. May I? Moving on. What would you intend to do now? Hmm. That's a tough question. Um, what should we do? Um, what, what would you do, Kuro? I do not agree. I hold no opinions or desires in which to speak. I am a maid. As I am as a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. So please, think about what you desire for yourself and what you desire for me. For everyone. No matter the situation. No matter what happens, I am here to serve Even in this situation, she is more concerned about others. Or she really is half the ultimate maid after all. Alright, that... Is that everyone fine? Of course, now it is. Now they can actually look at everyone and check. Huh? It is. Was that the bell? Ah! Oh. Kade, look! The monitor! So is Monokuma himself in this, or is it just these one piece? Hi! Bomb list. Hi, thanks for bearing with us. What? You bastards! Get you bastards waiting, huh? Alright! Everyone, make your way to the gym, please. <gasps> the opening oh, ceremony can finally begin. And that... Holy shit, are those... Are those voodoo dolls? Right now, They're dolls of the students. Are those voodoo dolls? That's fucking horrifying. So with a ball is tied in, I don't see her. I, I don't really, I don't see her. What the fuck is she? Ah. No, that's me. Whatever. Yeah, I don't see her. Oh dog, I am fucking dense and shit. She's literally front center. Is all that remains Dude, we finally finished our preparation. Hey. You do realize you just read your lines backwards. Right so long, so long. Him opening. Wait. Shit, whose thoughts is this? I'm going with him because it's focusing on him. 
gym opening ceremony. Hey! Kade, wh what should we do? Um. What should we do? What should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. You're right. True, but am, am, I, in am I in control of him now, actually? But I'm a little worried about this, because I know you control both of them at some point. Well, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Okay, so it is coming from him. Nope, I'm still controlling Kaido, because he's standing right there. Oh, this is full 360. That's cool. That's what if I enter someone else? No, I just said the same thing. And I believe they said gym. That's generally where this thing is held. Oh, also, I'm gonna be at like part. I'm gonna be decently in the last play by now, but these let's play episodes, because of how long this game is, are going to be rather long. I'd say at least at very, very minimum. 20 minutes to half an hour, although more likely around like 40 minutes, and the class trials will all be one video, um, because, speaking from experience, playing those up is generally a bad idea, but fucking uh, What?! Oh, that's swap for? Wait, no, seriously, I'm out of space. Oh, I can fast travel, that's cool. Oh, wait a gym, there we go, fast travel there. Well, I'm guessing the downside is I don't get steps for that. Like a thing oh, is this the gym? Except, no, because I saw the gym earlier. Still here, right? Nope. Other way. That can't be the gym. That that cannot be the gym. Because I saw the gym earlier. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I guess it just put me in the middle of the hallway then. Do you agree? All sixteen of us have gathered. Hmm. Mm. Pretty spectacular scene. I, also, I'm not gonna remember the voices for some of these guys. Once it gets to later game, when they're, uh, the numbers are thinned out a bit, ah, uh, it should be fine. But for now, expect mistakes. I didn't even read his line. Oh well. <laughs> you may not be able to get, be so easy going for much longer. Um, in this situation, it's no use thinking about things. So, eventually, Zumiji, I'm just gonna go with that. Stop thinking. <laughs> What's gonna happen to us? I bet it'll be a big pain. Hmm. Hmm. What? What? What are you looking at? Kimiko! You can use amazing powers, right? Cause you're a psychic and stuff, right? It's magic. It's not a psychic. I'm a- I'm not a psychic, I'm a mage. Ah! That's amazing! I definitely want to incorporate into that into New York Gato. Hey, you saw a training to undergo the awesome- I did that line well. Mm. Talking about it is too tired. Also, come to think of it, a uh, fun fact: this girl who's always fucking exhausted and is small, uh, is voiced by the same person who does Chiaki, uh, from Danganronpa Number Two. At least in English, I'm not sure in Japanese, but in English, it's the same voice actress. Fun fact. <sighs> and uh, what's her name here? Kaide is uh, Kyoko's. You're pretty lazy. Please wait. P pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. We do not know if if and when danger will strike. Please don't. Don't say that. I'm so scared. I, I don't know what to do. It'll be okay. There is no need to worry. Ajo will protect us. Ajo, whatever it is. Ooh, that's a relief. Fucking moron! <laughs> is your brain full of weeds or something? I'll whack him out of your skull of yours. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. Leave it to me. Those teddy bears show themselves again, or we'll kick all their asses. I'm going to wonder huh? what that. What's wrong? What's wrong? See? Listen. Hear that? Oh fuck! What is that? Huh? I think I hear it. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. <laughs> oh, Dex, it's these way. 
Is this the same? No. It's I think it's different because I think the last time they did this, we weren't in these costumes. We were in the first. That could be Everyone, behind Gonta. What? what the heck are these monsters? Wow. So cool. Hell yeah! Your excellent timing mobile bipedal weapon platform. You got lots of hometown pride too. What are you saying? I can't keep track with these backstories. <laughs> Whatever they are, they fair not kill off the what the The Uggos? I guess ugly maybe? Kill off the Uggos and save me for last. Hey! Ryan Emoko! Why are you concerned about me all of a sudden? By the way. That was the wrong pitch. Then someone <laughs> didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? <gasps> what the hell? N nobody told me about these! It's okay. Alright, chill out. There's no need to panic. They're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us, they'd have done it by now. But that Renoto casually locked up to the extension. So, what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? Let me guess. You're gonna force us to do something, and if we don't, we get hurt. That means... What? Well, we have our attention. So what do you want? And that's that! Oh, well, aren't you a wise guy? Hey! I'll start us off. Listen up, here's what we want you punk asses to do. <laughs> My heart's going a hundred miles an hour. You guys say it. You ready? Hell oh, yeah, it's, it's a... a killing game. Holy shit, he talked. And he says in a robot voice, huh? so that should be fun to do, actually. What? Hey! Oh, damn! How dare you upstage me? Huh? Wait a second, what did you say? Hmm. Wrong voice. If I heard him correctly... It's a killing game. It's a killing game. <laughs> Oh, we said it again. Yeah. Oh, damn it, Mono! Damn, I'm gonna crush you with this, Eric Cecil. <sighs> Come on, you don't have time to fight amongst ourselves. Okay. Yeah, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you, crush you with this here, Axel. <sighs> you too, Monotara. If this is what it's come to, then I will crush the four of you with this here, Axel. What are you saying? Hey, why are you including me? Oh well. Oh well, it's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. Uh, you wanna go to jail? You wanna go, Jabberoni? Fun fact, I used this back in this whole project, actually. Who are you calling Jabroni? Jabroni? What'd you say, Jabroni? What'd you say, Jabroni? I'll throw down any time, Jabroni! Check yourself before you wreck yourself! <laughs> Seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? Oh my fucking god, of course it's Don't good. worry. Atua is watching over us. Atua is watching over us. In a situation like this, is he just he going to watch? watch? Either way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here, or else... By the way, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to practice my voices for these guys. Now, now, now! Ooh! What? This is Mono, what isn't it? little cunt! Yes! You gotta knock off this awful fighting! His voice is getting oh, fucking funny, way. too. Please, it's gotta be. It's fucking gotta be. Father! Yes, yes, it's got. Are they actually his kids, and who did he fuck to get them? If that's the case. But, father, is that you? Papakuma! 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 Daddy! Daddy! Fuck, wrong voice. Daddy, where are you, Daddy? Huh? D Daddy? Yes, yes. At that moment. The lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. Yes, yep, here we go. Okay, fair warning, I don't do a very good English monotubal, but I'll try my game this. Yeah, it's him. With angel wings for some fucking reason. Oh, they fell. His wing was black, too, that's cute. I am the god of this, this new world! world. That's and good. the headmaster of the Ultimate, Ultimate Academy! Academy. I sound even higher than a t whatever the the fucking goddess chick. Monokuma! Nice to meet ya! Yay! Oh, they dropped this back too. 
Father's here. Hell yeah! Another epic entrance from Papa Goomba. Hello, Daddy. Fuck. Daddy is so cool. Really? My real cool. You're all so freaking cute. Oh, my little. Is this voice higher than any other two games? It feels like. What are you gonna do? The only reason I tolerate these tiresome antics is because they're all so cute. They are so Every time when the prologue is going way too long, I'll allow it because you guys are cute, nice for small. Yeah. In fact, the wait, yeah, the first prologue ever, wait, what? The very first prologue ever was only short because you cutie the cuties weren't there. Pops! Pops, are you mad at us? Don't be stupid! Don't be an idiot! I would never get mad at my little cubs. <laughs> yeah, he is mad. But daddy is still cool, even when he's angry. That's right. Bop is from a planet of handsome bears that get cooler as they get over here. It's getting interesting. I expect this point is, uh, I just saying, I expect this dude's, um, uh, voice to just keep changing. It's like, it's like, I don't know. Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally, Super Monokuma 4. How many times, times do, do I, I gotta, gotta say, say it? I'm, I'm not, not mad! mad. Alright, that's my best attempt. Ah, father just transformed into a Super Monokuma oh God, God, Super Monokuma! That's only possible when six Monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. Isn't that it's how, um... You bust out when you I really want to fuck the world shit up! A power you only see when the gods themselves do battle! Anyway... I'm back. I gotta admit, I'm actually pretty proud of you guys. You kids really stand out from the rest of the world in the second generation failures in the world. No way! I fucked up on this. Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. Yeah, but I can't think of any though. It Was it a think of him? pirate Nazi hat? One worth remembering. But father remembers because he knows everything. Uh, please, you cut that part out. You had to go answer your parents' part out. Holy shit! Yes. That's right, uh, Papa Kuma! I forgot. You know I just... kinds of useless crap! <laughs> I just had to leave for a sec. I forgot that they were being boys. Because Daddy gets all his alternate facts from the most trusted names in fake news! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love embracing my children. They're so cute that kids can't help myself. Usually, ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. <laughs> but in this case, ratings are through the roof! All thanks to the cute mono cubs. Not you, but Monokuma. I can only do Japanese Monokumas. Yeah, decent. And even that is all decent. What is this? What's going on? Another teddy bear appears. That's a reference to something. I think it's supposed to be a Pokemon reference. A wild blank. Mm. Yes, but that is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. The despair and madness swirling around that cursed thing. You're really fucking. Whoa. First of all, I'm no teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. <laughs> and show some respect! I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles! Huh? The master? <clears throat> Headmaster? Mm -hmm. Can't do it at the moment. It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with a built in AI, like me. Dun dun dun! Yeah, but the echo is different though. The brainless buckets of bolts! That's right! He didn't call the monochrome because the monochrome is the same 
your mindless pet pretty to a machine that can only be controlled by us, the Monoka. Thomas Robot Pilot Weapon Monster. This certainly is turning into quite a story. Well, that may be. But whatever I'm, what I'm worried about is this killing game you mentioned. What exactly does that mean? Oh. What is so amusing? <laughs> it's just what I said before. I kind of just phoned it in, and now I feel awkward. Extreme! I want to see you students with your ultimate level talents participate in a killing game. Huh? Killing game? Uh, us? Please stop! Please stop joking. Well, why would we agree to participate in a killing game? Huh? Huh? You guys don't want to do it? Don't you never do that? Co of course not. Gentlemen not hurt people. And another thing. But you looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape to the outside world. As long as we have the essence, you can't defy us. And in other words, I hold the power of life and death over to us. Over you and each and every one of you. So unsure. So, Monokuma is apparently the hardest force for me to do. Ah, uh, so do you what? Wait, so do what you say if we don't want to die. You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! Why would friends kill each other? Oh? You said you guys were friends. No way! You guys aren't friends at all. <laughs> Your enemies out to kill each other. Huh? Enemies? I did kind of use this. I still have a lot to learn from father about sarcasm. All this talking is bugging the shit out of me! I gotta beat up Mono Dam to relieve the stress. But I don't like that. I'm not good in situations with violence or gore. Sad situations. Um. Yo, <laughs> Rock, Paper, Scissors tournament! Instead of a killing game, did we ever do a Rock, Paper, Scissors tournament? You stupid! You want to play a game where no one dies? Hmm. Well, you do have a compassionate personality. It's so cute, I can barely stand it. They are so Why, it's cute enough to eat. Cute enough that I want to eat it. Okay. Hey, uh, Mono for me. Mono for me. Mono for me. You might want to dial back the touch stick a bit. Oh. Pull it with this stupid banter. I want to ask something. How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you gonna give us weapons? What the hell, you? man? What are you asking for? We need to get info from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. No way! Weapons, huh? What kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You couldn't be more wrong. Why, at the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, da, 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 da. the killing game is quite the refined, so sophisticated experience. What? Sophisticated experience? Yeah, yeah! I forget what my voice was for her already. Yes! Here, the killing game is punctuated by class trials! Uh. Class trials? Okie dokie! Okay, let us explain! Oh boy, here we go. Alright, so if one of you maggots kills someone, you all gotta take part in a class trial. The class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless classmates. It's where you punk ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. After that, it's voting time! And if the majority of you idiots vote correctly, then only the blackened killer will receive p, -p punishment. <laughs> So oh, girl, just imagining all the blood in car makes me want to puke. After the blackened is punished, the rest of you will just keep right on living together. But if you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, the blackened gets off scot-free and all the spotless students get punished instead. Hell yeah! Them's the rules of the class trial! Woohoohoo! I like scenes like that, because I don't have to see- What the <laughs> fuck is it his tongue? Looks like genocide or show, Jack, whatever you want to call it. Ah, too much, too much! That explain explanation revealed way too much! 
You gotta be more coy, flirtatious, seductive. Just like your old man. Gross. Gross? Hey, um... The point is, if you're not enough... If you're not enough to kill... It's fuck. It's not enough to kill someone. You have to survive the class trial. How should I put this? Kill without being caught, then survive the trial. Sounds eerily similar to the real world. You think so? Then the outside must be masterfully designed, even at its coolest. Listen. One can likely imagine, but I shall ask just in case. What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Yeah. Simply put, it's an execution. Huh? Execution. Well, if you do a crime, you get punished for it. That's like the most basic rule of society. But this is a killing game. So the punishment for murder is a bit more permanent. Hell yeah! Ooh, I wonder what kind of punishments there'll be. Lots of blood and guts and brains, I bet. The kind of stuff that gives me. Oh my god, I'm gonna say that out loud. You already Get have one. Card Ranger! Oh, Gory! Guts, brains. I, uh, I don't know how to Oh, Monophene just puked. Get Rock Hard Rage! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you kids are just adorable! What? What the hell's cute about that? Well, now. Now that I'm over all this boring exposition, kills, kills, let's get kills. to. Oh, he brought that line back, a uh, new performance of it. Let's get this hard pounding killing school semester started already! You have free reign to murder however you like, too! Like bludgeoning or stabbing! Feeling cheap? Try strangulation! Feeling lazy? Try poisoning! Whether you shoot, this burn, music is drown, blow up, crash, electrocute, or laugh your victim to death! Are we fucking like pulling a little shop and get this? You can use any method you like to kill anybody you like, any way you like. At the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential. Sixteen talented teenage prodigies, all competing for first place in a killing game. There's no better setting for an event like this than the Ultimate Academy. Again, killing soon is a mess. It's like a game. I'm scared to hide through some silly game is absurd. But it doesn't seem like it'll be boring though. How can you degenerates be so cold? It can't be! This has got to be a lie, right? It, it's a lie, right? Why? More like fiction. Like a story on TV. That is a cool rip on your part. Scenario is so removed from reality. We can hardly believe it's happening. It's no use. I, I don't want to be in a killing game. It's wrong. I, I never do that. <laughs> well, you don't want to participate in the killing game. That's gonna be a problem. Because the killing game is the only reason you're here. Huh? What? Now then. Now then. Release your talents and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Oh, jeez. Wait just a minute. Oh? Hmm? Stop it. No matter what you say, we won't do it. That's wrong. We'll never participate in a killing game. I'll do it. Whatever you... Good job with the voice keys there, guys. We'll never participate in a killing game. I'll do it. Whatever you have planned, I'm not going to let you get away with it. Kata, you can't just grasp me to fly that thing. That's No, nice. no, I welcome her resistance. That kind of defiant spirit is important to the killing game. It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. What do you mean by that? I love it. Everyone loves that kind of brutality in a death game. Especially me! It never gets old. It's so fun and entertaining. Then I just get... Wait, 
I just get unbearably pumped up. Cause. Plus, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. <laughs> Really held this prologue end scene the second it goes in. He stood in unfounded silence, surrounded by the squealing laughter of, of Monokuma and his house. Everything about this situation is so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall. Sixteen ultimate students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons. Your friends forced to play some killing game. It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story, no different from reality itself. Against my will, I was now a character in that story. No, it's over. Oh, no, intro. Oh, I'll shut up for this. Although I will say, this is hands down my favorite remix of the original game ever. And this I used in a school project as well. Same school project. As well as others. Now, I'm not going to ruin what it is, but there is a distinct difference of one character there, apart from all the others. If you want, you can go back, but uh, it's foreshadowing something, I think. And good, that's the end of the prologue. So I'm going to stop recording here and go eat Christmas dinner. That's going to fucking date this video. It's technically a day after Christmas. I got a present. A badge. I got an achievement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, thank you guys for watching. And, yeah. Uh, I guess I can't ask for your opinion because it'll all be up, but, uh, regardless, I guess, let me know what you think of me talking, because I'm iffy about it myself. My throat fucking kills. <laughs> um, so I'm definitely looking forward to the class trials even more now because I don't have to talk during them. <laughs> Aside from my own stupid thoughts and hypotheses, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and take care. Oh, there's an exclamation point about it. That's cool. Nice. Uh, I'll look at the report cards next time. Because I never ended up doing that. Uh, take care, guys.